Billy Wiz Gamer back online, and I'm, so I've been asked basically by one of the people to show my team. So why not? There you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is the team. Uh, I'll go through it all basically, but I've spent forty-eight thousand FIFA points. But the problem is, is that I've still got over a thousand players in my club. I am in this, and I need to sell a load of them. I haven't got round to it. I've just been at work and then doing FIFA videos and squad builders in the evening. So. I really need to actually sell them all and then I could have a much better uh, starting lineup and a lot of things. People I do want to add is definitely Scream, Otamendi in the centre back. And if I can get Scream for Mino, then that would be absolutely amazing. I don't know if I'll be able to get both of them, but let's start off with the, let's start with the goalkeeper. It's the easiest place to start. So David De Gea, I went for 61,000, you can see, is a beast. Six foot four. In my eyes, what, probably the best goalkeeper in the Prem. Edison and Allison, people will argue with, but he's tall, isn't he? I don't know. I like De Gea. He seems to, he seems to be good most of the time. Right back, Carl Walker. Walked for 62,000. Again, decent. 91 pace. Defence and physical, 81. Good, man. He's just in, it, they're solid. The back four, I think, I've had for quite a few games now. They're solid, and it's difficult to say who to buy in the Prem to actually... Like improve them a lot because obviously you got Socrates. It was only 7k, he went a lot, and then Sanchez it was 36k. But they're both pretty fast in terms of pace. As I said, Scream Otto Mendy is the one I want to go for, but he's like 200k, so I have to I have to try and get the dough back up now. But I've just sort of like bought a load of players to do SBCs again that I didn't complete. I just put them in dry and then didn't actually submit them, so I can just sell all the players and I'll plan to do that. Left back Andrew Robertson bought for 70k. Again, higher pace. That's what you need as a left and right back. Just higher pace, man. That's more or less the most important thing. I have got the left back Alonso on my player picks from last week's foot champs, but he's just too slow, man. 69 pace. Ain't going to cut it in a Premier League team when you've got the likes of everyone's just got, you know, super pace. If it's not Felipe Anderson, it's Mane, Sane, anyone. Do you know what I mean? They, they can just run it past uh, old... Marcus Alonso too easily. CDM, I think there's a star player of my squad. It's Deli Ali, bought for 274k. He's just all round a beast. He's six foot two, only three star weak foot, but he's a CDM, so he's not having a huge amount of shots. Skill moves four star. His pace is 74, so again, it's not slow for a CDM. Uh, shooting 83, 81 passing, 84 dribbling, 81 defense, 87 physical. Strength is 79. Stamina's 98, so again, just a beast. He's going to be able to be go through the whole game without massively losing a lot of energy whatsoever. And the fact he's six foot two obviously makes him pretty damn good in the air. Then mid, I've got Harry Kane. I leave him here. I don't move him up front or anything along those lines. I don't think he's fast enough to be an out and out striker. So putting him in like the centre attacking midfield sort of role, and he does intercept a lot of balls as well. To be honest, he's he's pretty good in that regard. Uh, four star weak foot again. He's six foot two, high attacking, high defensive, three star skill moves. I think he's he's decent in that position. I'll I'll be happy to replace him for Firmino. Screen that I think Firmino is more an all rounder with the defence and things like that, or even putting Firmino as the other CDM and then keeping someone else. There. I'm not 100 percent sure on exactly what to do, but I'd look to like get someone else there. Again, his pace is 71, which isn't great. CDM is Fabinho. This is definitely someone I want to replace quite quickly because his pace is shite. Other than that, his shooting's pretty crap as well. But he is six foot two. His weak foot's pretty crap. His skill moves are pretty crap. You know what I mean? Like he's not really got a huge amount going for him, considering he costs forty five k. Uh, he is pretty good on the physical side of things and defending. But you can get people that all rounders, and then you might as well if they're in centre mid, they're going to have chances in front of goal, and it's going to cost you goals if you don't have a higher uh, shooting score right winger is again i reckon he's one of the star players on the squad because he is just a beast with 96 pace 81 shooting 80 passing 88 dribbling and 70 physical uh, again his strength is a little bit on the low side compared to other people he's only five foot nine but he's pretty good it's just his pace that gets him gets him into a lot of good positions old flashback theo walcott and that is that's me a right winger. Striker is Lucas Moura. I needed a Brazilian striker to allow for uh, Scream Hulk to be the left winger. So that's why I have got Fabinho. And that's why I really want to get Fabinho. Because I think Fabinho is obviously Brazilian. 
we're linked to him and then same as Lucas. Lucas, in my opinion, is good. He's a beast. His uh, pace is obviously nice and high, so you're getting in behind the defenders and staying in behind them. Shooting could be higher, but he's not bad whatsoever. But obviously the good thing about this guy is he's got a four-star skill moves, four-star weak foot, which is nice, you know what I mean? He doesn't cost a bomb. It was only 30k. And he ain't bad whatsoever, man. He's all right. Um, nothing really that bad with him, I wouldn't say. He's just obviously a bit on the small size, being five foot nine. He's not exactly a target man up front, but he makes up for it for the speed. And then the left winger is a right winger. Hulk is good, but he doesn't ever seem to do that much for me, I have to be honest with you. Even though the stats are all there, because look, his pace is higher, his physical is higher, his shooting is higher, his passing is higher, and his dribbling is pretty good. But yeah, he's, he doesn't really do a huge amount. And he's 5 foot 10, so he's not tiny, but he's not exactly like massive. 3 star weak foot, 4 star skill moves. He's alright, I don't mind him whatsoever, but I am changing from a 79 rated Saint Maximum to a right winger of 86. There wasn't a lot of difference, to be honest. I, I probably prefer playing with Saint Maximum than Hulk, but because he is 86 rated, I feel inclined to use him. I don't know why. On the bench, I've got Zabitza, who is tradable. A lot of these are, obviously, that guy's untradable. Uh, Hulk, Walcott's untradable. Deli Alley is tradable. Pookie's untradable. Oshiman's untradable. Promise is untradable. Nabon Dombele is untradable. Same maximum is untradable. Jesus Navas is untradable. Untradable, untradable, untradable. So the only people that are on the bench that are tradable is Blue Core and Zabitza. I packed Zabitza on one of the rare players' packs, I think, or something like that. I can't remember. But it's on the video, and he's beast, but obviously he doesn't fit into the team. But you've got four-star weak foot, three-star skill moves. I've been using him as a super sub to bring on for Harry Kane. And he's been doing doing the job. He's all right, man. As you can see, he's all round, He's an all-round centre-mid. So okay, you could use him as a centre-mid or centre CDM. It's not really... He's not exactly got crap stats for any of that. So I definitely... Pookie is 84 rated, but this is what I do not get. Pookie is 84 rated, yet he has got every single thing higher or better. No, like Ozzyman, so he's got everything higher or better than Pookie. Pookie's got three star, three star, weak foot, three star. He's got three star, four star. He's taller, six foot one. He's five foot eleven. He's higher medium. He's higher and higher, right in terms of attacking defensive. So why is Ozzyman? This is what I do not get with this game. Why is Ozzyman a lower rated? He's 83 compared to Puki, who's 84 rated. How? No one really understands. But Ozzyman, <clears throat> he's nice to put on as a striker. Um, normally, who I put on is Quincy Promise because he's 91 pace. Same maximum, 93 pace at about 60, 70 minutes. And then Ozzyman as a striker. Uh, sometimes I put Sabitza on. So sometimes it depends on who, who I think is actually doing well or who's more knackered. I put Sabitza on for Kane sometimes and Ozzyman on for Lucas Mora. Uh, Ducore is good. I'd probably see how Ducore and Nondombele are very similar. The only thing with Nondombele is, is what he make, lo losses, loses in defence and physical, he makes up for in pace because he's a lot faster than a lot of CDMs. So I haven't noticed a massive difference between them two, although you do find Ducore sort of intercepts a little bit more, Nondombele makes up for lost ground a little bit more. And that is it, basically. Jesus Navas hasn't even got a game for me, I don't think, yet. Haller was decent, to be honest. I didn't mind him whatsoever. He was actually fairly a fairly good little player. I got him in the one to watch pack. But he, yeah, he was actually he's actually a decent uh, central attacking midfielder. Sanchez, squad builder. He's all right. He's just not really fast enough, and he's not really tall enough. He's five foot seven, and he's got not weak foot's only three star. School moves only four star. He's not actually got like that much. We go, oh, I need to get him in my team. He's amazing. He's he's not none of them stats or they're all decent, but they're not amazing. And there we go, ladies and gentlemen. And like I said, if you go to my club, I've got one thousand one hundred eighty nine players that in the club. I need to sell a lot of them to actually get some money and improve the squad. I was in the weekend league this week. I've got eleven wins. I have three games left to play, but I'm not going to play them. It's just so frustrating. I find this FIFA more frustrating than any other FIFA. The amount of 
47 minute goals and 90 second minute goals and 117th minute and 107th minute, I was like 120th minute goals. It's just ridiculous, man. And, and how many goals it takes you like 60 minutes to go one nil up and then before you know it, it's one one in the sec- 62nd minute. It's just annoying. It's a, it's a really frustrating game. I think this year has got me a lot angrier than any other FIFA. Right, that's life. That's FIFA, in it? I was, I was saying to my mate, like, if any other game just pissed you off as much as FIFA, you, you wouldn't want to play it. When you get, like, nine times you get pissed off one time, you're actually happy that you win. So, um, probably different for HD players that are a bit better than me, that don't lose many, loads and loads. Well, thank you for watching, ladies and gentlemen. Please subscribe for more FIFA videos. I do squad builders. I do numerous rubbish videos like this one. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe. Be a busy gamer. Over and eater.